How's it going guys, it's Rich Yankee here and in today's video we're going to be doing a showdown. Showdown versus these two bad boys right here. This is my Moto X Pure Edition which is rock solid device and this is my one plus two so hopefully if you're trying to decide between these two amazing devices this video will help you out tremendously let's go do this one plus two versus the moto x pure edition and to compare these guys the first thing i'm going to do is we're going to talk a little bit about the uh, frame and the design of it so both of these devices have the metal frame around them and uh, looks very, very nice, very, very sharp. Um, looks like they both have the power and the volume down here on the right hand side, except for they are flipped on the devices. So on this one, the power button's on the bottom. On this button, the power button is on the top. Um, the only other thing when it comes to buttons is that the OnePlus 2 has the notification slider right here which actually what I have found is kind of annoying. Um, it catches on my pocket and changes my priority levels and uh, really kind of a pain actually. I'm uh, really not finding any use for it. Now, some of you may want to change your priority all the time and for you it might be a great thing, but for me I'm finding it's uh, a little frustrating. Other than that, I guess the other thing that's really cool about both these devices is the backs. Now, the OnePlus 2 has a very rugged and almost sandpaper feel to it. I mean, not hard, really gritty, but really light sandpaper feel. While the uh, Moto X Pure Edition has a texture to it as well, it's a much more soft and a more plasticky feeling, um, rugged, rugged texture. And I, and I think I like it a lot better. Even though it feels a little cheaper, honestly, I like it better. Now, one thing that is nice about the OnePlus 2 when it comes to the back is that you can take the back cover off. It's a little tricky, but you guys can go ahead and take it off and replace the back cover and change the back cover. So if you don't like this one, you can get one that you do like. See what I mean? A little tricky to get off. So there you go. You can see you can take it off and you know get a different style, and that's pretty cool. So I kind of like that. But when it comes down to the Moto X Pure Edition, you can build your own in Moto Maker, and that right there way outweighs anything you can do here with a back cover on the OnePlus 2. So I designed mine. This is the blue back. It's got the I think it's called champagne right here. This coloring, and then the skin around it is also champagne. And then I went for the white front. The white you only have a couple of choices, white or black. But um, I like this look. I think it looks really nice. And I love that you can build this in Moto Maker. So I guess when it comes down to the body, it's kind of up to you what you like. But for me, the Moto X, I think, wins this category. It's just awesome to be able to build your own in Moto Maker. When it comes down to connectivity, we got to open this one up here and check out our SIM tray. So this is the SIM tray here. And you have one slim sl SIM card slot right there. But if you flip it over, you have an SD card expansion port here on the Moto X Pure Edition. And that's something that a lot of new phones are, are missing. And I'm really, really happy that they have included that here. Now on the OnePlus 2, it looks like you got two slots and you do. But basically what you've got right there is two SIM cards, so which is nice actually. I mean, if you have a company phone and a personal phone, you could put both SIMs in there and work on multiple networks, which is pretty cool. And I know overseas you use a lot of two carriers. On the front, there's a couple things you want to compare these two devices on as well. And the main points are going to be the OnePlus 2 here has the fingerprint scanner, while the Moto X Pure has dual front-facing speakers. So you have stereo front-facing speakers, which is an awesome feature here. I love that on phones but you don't have the fingerprint scanner. The speakers on the OnePlus 2 are down here in the bottom. It looks like there's two, it's technically only one, so you have a mono speaker. So if you like to listen to a lot of music through your speakers or YouTube videos or things like that, like I do, this might be a detractor for you. But on the other hand, if you love the security of the fingerprint scanner, then the OnePlus 2 might be your choice. The other thing I would probably point out here for you is the front-facing camera. They are both 5 megapixel front-facing cameras on both devices, which are very comparable. The only real difference to point out here 
is that this front-facing camera on the Moto X Pure has an LED flash. Yes, an LED flash right on the front. So if you like taking all those selfies, and especially if you take them in a slightly darker environments, then you really might like the front-facing camera here on this uh, Moto X. When it comes to processing power on both of these devices, the OnePlus 2 has got the Snapdragon 810 Qualcomm chip, and the Moto X over here has the Snapdragon 808 Qualcomm chip. So this one actually has a two uh, dual core processor and a quad core processor in it, while the OnePlus 2 just has that 810 quad core processor. Both of these devices are super snappy and very, very responsive, and everything is very fluid on them. Now, there's a RAM difference here too. You get four gigs of RAM on this device right here, the OnePlus. Let's show it to you. Two. Right there, four gigs of RAM, and you're running Oxygen OS on this device. And over here, we have three gigs of RAM, and this one is running stock, well, they call it Pure Edition, so basically stock Android 5.1.1 Lollipop, which is awesome. I love the stock feel. Now, if you like a custom, more of a custom round feel, then you might like the OnePlus 2 a little bit better with its Oxygen OS on it. And the cool thing now with both of these, both of these, you can unlock the bootloader. Both of these will probably get um, side gen mod on them, and you can do all your customization to them. So when it comes down to developing side, it's kind of like for like when it comes down to those things. Some of the things you're going to want to pay attention to, though, are some of the features on this device specifically, because it's got its own special fingers, like fingerprint scanner, things like that. When you install custom ROMs, you may lose them. Whereas, since this is basically pure, you could probably keep all of its functionality even in your custom ROM. So that might be something to pay attention to. Both of these phones come in basically 16, 32, 64 uh, gigs of storage. So you have plenty of storage space options depending on which model you pick, and which is really nice. Now I want to show you guys the cameras on both of these because they're pretty good. The OnePlus 2 here has a 13 megapixel camera. And I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys an example of a picture I took with it. And hopefully you guys can get a slight comparison on these. So I took this picture and it should be basically the same. And now there's going to be a screen difference because these also have different screens. But just so you guys can maybe get a feel for them. Now, and some of that's your angling too I see here on this one. A little better angling. So there's viewing angles on both these as well. But basically what I'm seeing with them is the 13 megapixel camera here on the OnePlus 2 has a lot of... Um, brighter it's a brighter colors and it gives you it kind of bleeds some of the color out and it looks like looks like you're taking it in like the sunlight is kind of the way i would put it this is just with stock auto mode and hdr turned on okay then over here same thing 21 megapixel stock hdr turned on and this one i feel like the, the uh, blacks are darker and deeper and the color is more correct so i, I really like the moto x camera I think it works really really well and I've been quite pleased that Motorola has come out with a good looking camera at this point which is awesome. When it comes down to the screens there is quite a bit of difference here as well where the Moto X has got a quad HD screen and it's at 5.7 inches which is really good I love these bigger phones it's really nice and the OnePlus 2 is rocking a 5.5 inch screen but it is only 1080p so it's not super noticeable but um, there is a little bit of difference there when it comes to the screens and honestly they feel about comparable in the hand so it's kind of personal preference if you want that little extra 0.2 inches I would say last but not least here is the battery so battery is really important to me I need my device to last me all day with heavy use. My opinion of heavy use is about four hours. And both of these devices, four hours of screen on time that is, both these devices really can do that quite well. The OnePlus 2 has got a 300 or 3,300 milliamp hour battery, non-removable, okay? A lot of phones are going that way. I dislike that tremendously, but that's what it is. And the Moto X Pure has got a 3,000 milliamp hour battery which is great. This is a great batteries. Both these batteries, anything now coming out, any kind of flagship coming out should have a battery 
of this size. There's no reason to be less than 3,000 milliamps at this point, in, in my opinion, especially with a bigger device like these. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for me here on this comparison versus video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Definitely, when it comes down to either of these two flagships, I would call them flagships anyway, they're great priced quite well at about $400 each, and you would really be happy with either one. And when it comes down to what device works for you, it's gonna all boil down to per personal preference and what features you want. So even if you had the choice of getting something like a Note 5 or an S6 Edge, really, it really doesn't matter. It just depends on what you're looking for and how you use your Android device yourself. So anyway, that's gonna wrap it up for me. Definitely, if you wanna see more about both of these awesome flagships, I'm gonna give you my playlist for both of them. I'll link them in the video description down below and you can check out how to root, hack, mod, install custom ROMs on both of them as I cover all of those things on my channel. Hope you've enjoyed this comparison video and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.